Good evening. Tonight we celebrate Mass for the Ascension of the Lord. Please rise for our opening song, Servant Song. to the end of our Easter season to celebrate the Lord's ascending to his heavenly Father. So let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the grace and peace of God our Father and the love of the Lord Jesus be with all of you. And as we come now to these sacred mysteries once more, we ask God's mercy and forgiveness for our failings. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Christ, only begotten. 
Let us pray. O God, whose Son today ascended to the heavens as the apostles looked on, grant, we pray, that in accordance with his promise, we may be worthy for him to live with us always on earth and we with him in heaven who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them, they said, men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. to God with cries of gladness for the Lord the most high the awesome is the great king over all the earth God mounts his throne to shouts of joy a blare of trumpets his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. of all the earth is God, 
sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A blare of trumpets for the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory and his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and they preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs, the gospel of the Lord. The man waited as the family packed up the car and left for summer vacation. When it got dark, the man who was sitting outside went to the front door, rang the bell. When there was no answer, 
he picked a lock and went into the house. He yelled out, Is anybody home? He was stunned when he heard a voice reply, I see you, and Jesus sees you. The burglar was terrified and called out, Who's there? And again the voice came back again, I see you, and Jesus sees you. So the burglar switched on his flashlight and shined it into the area of the voice. He was immediately received, relieved to see a caged parrot who recited once more, I see you and Jesus sees you. He laughed to himself and then went to turn on the room light and then he saw it. Beneath the parrot cage was a huge Doberman pincher. The parrot said, attack Jesus, attack. It's good to laugh and rejoice at this time. The gospel as we prepare for Pentecost, we begin with the challenge of Jesus ascending to heaven. And we're challenged to proclaim the faith in action and our thoughts. We all want to go to heaven, just not now. Jesus was challenged at another time when they asked him if a woman died who had seven husbands, who would she be with in heaven? You know, we ask many questions. What happens when a baby dies? Do they go to heaven as babies or as adults? When older people die, do they go as old adults? What age will everyone be? St. Augustine studied this and decided that everyone will be 33 years of age, the same age that Jesus was when he died. Yet we don't know. Will we recognize everyone? Will I recognize my parents and Grandma Kiefer? Will our pets be there? Well, maybe dogs. Will we be surprised to see who is there or not? Will it be like this famous painting I hung up here entitled, What Heaven Is Like? It shows mothers and husbands greeting each other and children. Will I still have my receding hairline? What will I do all day if I'm there? Will it be air conditioned? What Jesus essentially said about the widow and the seven husbands is that it's irre irrelevant. Forget about your questions because all will be beyond our imagination. Just as 500 years ago, people could not have imagined computers or television sets, so we cannot imagine heaven. Forget all your imaginations and categories. It's beyond time, beyond experience. Heaven eternal life will be with God is completely beyond our imagination. No questions, no answers will explain. One thing remains is our faith. Faith comes from a belief that Jesus died and rose for us. And he died for our sins. He loves us beyond all measure and desires that all of us will be saved. We are given no specifics, no answers, no solution, no picture postcards. Trust God and his care. God will handle all beyond our imagination. He cares. His love will continue. That is what we need to know. Now, it's all right to imagine and try to visualize. And it's right and proper that our prophets, artists, poets, try their best to convey what heaven is like. We are creatures of imagination. 
Isaiah said it was a big banquet. I heard one preacher say that it was all the food that we could eat and not go hungry. Isaiah says, on the mountain of the Lord will make for all people a feast of rich food. He will swallow up death forever. The Lord will wipe out our tears. Isaiah 25. Poets and songwriters have all chimed in. For example, during the slavery in our country, shoes re were reserved only for privileged white gentry. So in the black spiritual hymn, this was their song. I got shoes, you got shoes. When I go to heaven, gonna put on my shoes and gonna walk all over God's heavens. And artists come along and paint in churches in the Vatican and pictures of harps and then we write beautiful music because we think music is the nearest thing to heaven. We have pictures of golden roads in heaven. Once I sent a cartoon to my sister showing accordion players as you enter hell. She was an accordion player who I listened to for many years. I keep reminding her of that. When all is said and done, when, when we think about heaven, we still have to go back to St. Paul when he wrote, No eyes have seen, nor ear heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him. Corinthians. That's what Jesus is trying to say about heaven. Case closed. It's the final word. Not very satisfying, I grant you. Not the answer. But on the issue of heaven, it really comes down to this. Believe deeply that Jesus loves you and that love endures through time and eternity. And curiosities about heaven will take care of themselves. Just be prepared to be surprised at the final you never had questions for. Hopefully, we will find all the answers when and if we reach heaven. And let us stand now as we offer these petitions and our prayers and intentions to Almighty God. That God may strengthen all who are, who are ordained to preach, baptize, and make disciples of all the nations until the Lord returns again we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the mystery of the ascension, we may grow in our longing for eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the missionary efforts of the church, all who have never heard the saving gospel of Christ may hear and believe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer from poverty, war, unfair treatment, or illness may receive strength from the risen Lord to bear their burdens, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the faithful departed may enter into eternal rest, and all who mourn may look forward in hope to the resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our own personal intentions.
we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, continue to bless us with great faith to trust in your love and to trust in your promise, which is that one day we shall share life with you and your Son for all eternity. And we make these in all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all. O God, whose only begotten Son, our High Priest, is seated ever living at your right hand, to intercede for us. Grant that we may approach with confidence the throne of grace and there obtain your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder mediator between God and humanity, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Blessed is 
You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, gave you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the cup of blessing. Look with favor on the offerings of your church in which we show forth the sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we share. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit and grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and with your entire people. Grant that the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of others, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and sorrow, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus, your Son. him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. now in the words that Jesus himself has taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespassing against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. And Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look upon the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. risen and ascended, happy are we who share at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, but only say the word. Christ.
presence we bear. Come, O Spirit, make your grace revealed in this holy meal. Spirit and grace here in this place, you are the May the gift we have received from your altar, Lord, kindle in our hearts a longing for the heavenly homeland and cause us to press forward, following in the Savior's footsteps, to a place where, for our sake, he entered before us who lives and reigns forever and ever. In regard to the Mass schedule this, year, this week, uh, Tuesday morning at 8.20, we will have the graduation Mass in church uh, for our 8th graders. Uh, the 12.10 Mass this week will be canceled because I have a uh, 11 o'clock funeral in church for Thomas Hines, uh, and so we will not be done or back from the cemetery in time for another Mass. So no Mass, no daily Mass on Tuesday at noon. <coughs> Wednesday and Friday, Masses will be here at 8.20 in the Perry Center. Uh, we have the school children will be attending those as well. The last day of school will be this Friday. And, you know, certainly congratulate and thank our teachers and our principal and staff for all the hard work they did this year to make the school year as normal as possible. And uh, they very much succeeded at doing that. We are awaiting to see uh, the guidelines uh, from the diocese. Uh, we might hopefully be able to return to church in a matter of maybe a few weeks. So uh, we'll see what they come out with. If you ordered a missalette for home, or for a homebound person, uh, the second or the next issue of that for the summer months is available, and Brian Barnes will have that for you out in the lobby if you want to pick one up for somebody that's homebound. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless us, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God.